Hey guys, Joshua here from youtube.com slash iPuntaJTeam and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the new 3.0.1 firmware. It's going to be a very uh, simple firmware and it was a very simple update. The only thing they, uh, the update does is it, hell, um, it um, boosts the security of your phone, I guess you could say, um, because the problem that was going on is um, people could hack your phone through a text message and they could uh, take control of your phone, like they could use the camera. Um, they couldn't take pictures or stuff like that. I don't believe so. I don't. I didn't read too much about it because I wasn't too worried too, too worried about it. And I believe they can uh, turn on the microphone and they can listen into your phone calls, and um, they can listen to when you're just at home and you just have your phone on on, on your desk. Um, so whenever you you have your microphone on, they can hear what you're doing. So you know that's kind of scary. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason Apple has made this um, update. If you're an iPod Touch users, there's, uh, user, there's no real reason to update. I don't even think it's possible to update for to the 3.0.1 firmware. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one, but because um, I haven't even upgraded my iPod Touch to the um, 3.0 software, uh, it's still on 2.2.1. Um, I just kept it on 2.2.1 just because um, I just don't, you know, one. I just want to keep, you know, 2.2.1 around, um, and um, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, once you have, you're gonna need to download a few things. Red Snow. I'll have links in the description for Mac or PC, so it works. It's gonna work with both uh, firmwares. I mean, uh, operating systems. And also, you're gonna need to download the iPhone 3.0 um, software. So if you have, you know, I'll put a link in the description to FlexBurn, um, where you can download uh, your different, uh, your, I mean, your not different, sorry, your. Um, firmware for your device, iPhone, iPhone 3G, and 3GS. So let's get started, and um, yeah, obviously you're going to need to update, and then you can, once you're done doing that, and you have Red Snow downloaded, you can open that up. So I have 0.7, you can try to use 0.8, it hasn't worked for me too much, so um, yeah. Um, then you're going to want to click on Browse, and then you're going to want to look for the 3.0 software. This is why you need to download the 3.0 software. Because there's no differences at all. The only thing that Apple did was that SMS text message thing. Um, so yeah, there's no difference in this firmware at all. You won't find any new features or anything like that. So once you're done doing that, uh, uh, Red Snow will process the firmware and uh, uh, identify it. And then I can just uh, go next. And then um, it's going to tell me if it wants Cydia. Obviously, I do because it's the point of jailbreaking not have Cydia. And then um, you're going to need to have your device plugged in, which I do, obviously. And um, you're going to need to turn it off. So I'm going to do that right now. I might cut the video because uh, it does take a little while to um, turn off the iPhone. Okay, so the phone is off now. And um, now you can just click Next in Red Snow. Um, so you're going to need to hold, hold down the power button and then start holding down the um, um, home button for 10 seconds and um, you can just follow the controls that will be shown in um, Red Snow. So now um, I can release the power button and just keep holding the home button. So very simple, very simple steps um, and um, not hard to follow at all. And now it will tell me that it will start jailbreaking. I should get this white screen. There we go. There's the white screen. Um, it does take a little while to get off the white screen, but not too long. And it's kind of weird just seeing your, you know, your iPhone with the white screen um, for a little while. I'm going to cut the video because it does take a little while to jailbreak, obviously, but this is you know pretty quick anyways. Uh, it's just uploading the RAM disk, so it's going to download the jailbreaking data. And um, once it's done, I uh, will show you guys that it is on the 3.00 uh, the 3.0.1 uh, software gel jailbroken. So now you'll see uh, this pineapple uh, running um, and you'll see this little blue bar at the bottom and this is just showing you the progress of downloading the jailbreak data. Um, so once it's almost done I'll just come back and show you guys the, the, the firmware jailbroken. So right now my iPhone is turning on and um, it should be uh, jailbroken now, which is awesome, and uh, I can download, you know, new themes and other applications that are not in the App Store. Um, so yeah, should not take too long. Hopefully, it doesn't. Uh, 
but you know, the iPhone does take a little while to um, boot up. So, you know, gonna cut the video again. Oh, maybe not. I see that it's turning off. Right now we just have a blank screen that's pretty normal after a jailbreak. And there we go. Um, the phone is on and perfectly working. Um, and there is Cydia, as you can see. Um, there we go. So, I'm jailbroken. And um, if you guys want more proof that I'm on 3.0, just uh, let me bring my mouse over here and open up iTunes. And um, then I can show you guys. Um, so, there you go. There's some proof right there. 3.0, um, 0.1 firmware. And um, right now I'm going to sync my contacts contacts and stuff like that and ringtones and music and stuff like that so um thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you out um with your jailbreaking and i hope you enjoy the new 3.0.1 uh firmware more safer and um that's about it guys so please rate comment and subscribe and be sure be sure to follow me on twitter also guys i just want to let you know something um it's uh, kind of tech related well it is actually tech related it's about the um snow leopard um, Amazon has started to uh, let people pre-order it now, which is awesome. So, just more proof that the um, OS is almost ready to go. And, um, yeah, there's no uh, release date out yet, but you can pre-order. Um, and remember, Snow Leopard is only going to be $30, which is awesome. And there are going to have, like, the um, some box sets where you can get, like, iLife 09 and, um, and Snow Leopard together, which is awesome. And you obviously you can get the family pack and with five uh, licenses of Snow Leopard, which is awesome. Uh, if you have you know more than one Mac in the house, hopefully you do because Macs are awesome. And um, we'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com/applegeek94. My next video, guys, will be talking about my giveaway and a little update with the iPod Touch 18. So see you guys in that video. Bye.